Hi friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. So I've been asked on several occasions, actually more than several, like a zillion occasions, how do you store your fabric, Tiffany? How is it it's always so cleaned up on your shelves? What do you do that makes it look nice? Well, I use magazine boards for my yardage. So if you don't know what a magazine board is, it looks like this. It's, can you hear that? That is cardboard. It is a thin cardboard that is acid free. So one side is super smooth and the other side is cardboardy. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. So this I get a hundred pack off of like Amazon. I'm not sponsored by this in no way or shape or form, but you can get a hundred pack of these on Amazon for like $16 or something like that. And you can even find it for like 12. So I've gone through a lot of these. If you have a lot of fabric that you need to bolt up, this is what I use. But they also sell a different size as well. And that other size is this right here. So you can see this one is a lot smaller. Well, not a lot smaller, it's a tiny bit smaller. So there's one and there's the other. So you can see, it's a little bit on the smaller side. So the smaller one is for those of you who may have thinner shelves in your house. Do you have a thinner shelf in your house that you're putting your fabric on or are you storing smaller amounts of fabric? Either way, these ones are comic book cards. So there's two different kinds, magazine board and comic book board. Comic book board is typically used for, that is it, comic book. And magazine board is typically used to keep magazines flat, especially for shipping. So these ones, most people like put their comics in a comic case thing, you know, in a, a plastic sheath with one of these to keep their comic book nice and safe from all the elements, as well as from children tearing them up so that they can save them for some unknown apparent reason. But us quilters, we have devised a plan to use up all of the comic board and all of the magazine board to store our lovely, beautiful fabrics on. Yeah, so this is what I use, but I choose to use the magazine board. The paper just fell. Two seconds, magazine board. <laughs> so I use the magazine board because it is bigger. So. How do I store my fabric using these magazine boards? Well, first I take a lot of magazine board and then I take a lot of fabric and I bolt it up. That's it, it's simple as that. So let's go over to the ironing board so I can show you what I do. So I have a uh, extra big ironing board. It's like 24 by 65 or 25 by 65, I don't know, it's big. First thing I do is I take my yardage. Now this is not exactly a yard, let me show you. So here I have a yard stick. It is exactly one yard. I lay it here and then I lay my fabric here and I go, oh look, that's not a yard. That, oops, does not get folded up. <laughs> then I grab another piece of fabric and go, well, this one's 33 inches. I'm not sure I want that on there. Again, no. We're gonna go and grab the next one on the pile and look, it's bigger than a yard. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. It's bigger than a yard. It is one yard and one, two, three, two, two and a half inches. I'm just gonna call it one yard. So I take a little note, notepad and a pin from my friend Sobeka over at Sobeka here on YouTube. Anyways, I write on this little sticky note one yard, just one yard, just like that, one yard, okay? Then I find, I find my magazine board and the first thing I do is I open this up, it's kind of sloppy and I have OCD. So why am I on the ironing board you might ask? Well, it's because I like to straighten the yardage out. I know that's an extra step, but guess what? It keeps it nice on the bolt for one. I'm just using a hot dry iron. It keeps it nice on the bolt. 
as well as it helps me fit more fabric on the shelf because it's nicely pressed. So let's press this out. Pressing, pressing, pressing my fabric. Don't mind me. I'm in a mood. All right. Once one side is pressed, I keep it folded right sides out. I line up the one end. I make sure that everything is smooth and it's not like cockeyed. You can tell if it's cockeyed because it would look like this. I want it nice and flat. And there I go ruining it already. We want it nice and flat. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is lined up nice and flat. And this is a batik. So batiks tend to hold their fold very easily. So you definitely want a nice flatly pressed batik because if not, it's going to hold that fold. And then you're just going to have really wrinkled fabric after you pull it back off the shelf. So it's nice and flat. Ooh, look at that. Nice and flat, nice and flat. Pressing it on nice and flat. All right. Once it's nice and flat that way, I take it from the fold and fold it in on itself, just like this, up to itself, like that. And then I go ahead and I give it some heat right here on that fold, just like that, making it nice and flat. Then I take my comic or magazine board. I don't know why I keep saying comic because this one's the magazine one. And I put my sticky note on the smooth side because it sticks better on that side. And make sure that it's on there facing out towards the fold. Then I fold the fabric about halfway on that board because, well, this is a yard or more. Halfway fits the yard the best. Fold it halfway, line it up, and then I just hold it and fold it. Hold it and fold it, hold it and fold it. And there, my nice, perfectly bolted up one yard of fabric. And I can see my little tag says one yard. Nice, right? So then I take and stack that out of the way. Okay, and then I grab another one. Yardstick, fabric. Let's look, is this one yard? Oh, look, it's one yard and about two and a half inches. Again, you know, there's probably a lot of this that you know I have that's just random like that. All right, so this is my fold. I'm gonna put my fold at the top. And you can see, look at this, what I said about batiks holding their fold. These creases are evident. They are right there, pointing out at me. They are not going to go away unless I take the iron to them. Here we go. Iron, iron, iron. I'm actually folding it in half this time. Getting the one side first. Get rid of that pesky crease from being folded up and thrown here, there, and everywhere. Turn it to the other side and go, oh, no, look at all those wrinkles. Let's get those ironed out as well. I'm going to give a little bit of elbow grease. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Let's get some of these folds out. You can use water if you need. Pressing, 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 make it nice and flat. All right, so once it's nice and flat and everything looks good, it's folded on the fold nicely. We're going to go ahead and write on this before I forget because I tend to forget to the last minute. One yard. That's it. One yard. Wrote on my little chingamabobber. We're going to fold that fold in close to us on right here, nice and straight. Smooth it out and give that fold a little press. Just to smoosh it down. Smooshing it down. Then we grab our magazine board. On the silky smooth side, I'm going to put my little note. It's on there. Take this, put the fabric about halfway. See that? Halfway. Hold it nice and tight. And then keeping it nice and tight, fold it, fold it, and fold it. And every time it should land about halfway. This has two extra inches. So, but normally it would land about right here. Right? Okay. So then I take and stack it right there. Then I grab more. 
Did I say that right? Yes, I grabbed more fabric. More fabric for me. So this one has about two inches. I'm just gonna mark that this one is one yard. Somebody was very generous in cutting this fabric because they get almost two and a half inches per cut. Look at that. I just love it when they work at the store and they give extra fabric. So I'm gonna press it out, same thing, just like this. Now say, we're just gonna pretend here that you have the smaller shelves and you bought the comic board. So I'm gonna do the same exact procedure Flip it around just like this and get rid of those pesky wrinkles on both sides of the fabric because I definitely don't want to fold it up and have a mess on inside and outside of my fabric. Just a hot dry iron. Nice hot dry iron. All right. So say we're going to use comic board for this. I'm not doing comic board, but we're going to do that same procedure. Do, 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 do. Fold that down nice and flat. We're going to take the comic board right here, and this one isn't as tall. So this one's going to hide inside the fabric. But if you line up one edge up here, then you put this halfway, it should, should go all the way. Just like this. Okay, so the comic board is in there, it's holding it, but it's a lot smaller for a thinner shelf, okay? But again, I am going to use the comic boards that I have for smaller pieces of fabric, like the stuff that's not one yard but more than half, that kind of stuff. So I will stick with my magazine boards. Oh wait, I forgot to write. One yard. That way I, myself, me, We'll know how much fabric is on these lovely bolt things that go on my lovely, beautiful, cleaned up shelves that I can't get to at the moment because they're hiding behind a mattress. So I'm just going to fold this nice and tight. Look at that. Nice and pretty. Perfect. Stack it up and move on. How much more do I need to move on to? Well, let's see. <laughs> Looks like somebody's going to be ironing for a while. Anyways, so that's what I do with the magazine boards. Again, magazine board is eight and a half by 11 in size. Comic board is six and three quarters by 10 and a half. You know, I had to look at that one because I didn't really know the number because I use magazine boards, not comic. But I do have comic. So you can see lots of different in size, but it folds the fabric, keeps it on the shelf nice and clean. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's on the shelf. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. I have a lot of ironing to do. Oh, here we go. Uh, like I said, it's hiding. It's hiding. Uh, there we go. Ah, look at that. So that's what it looks like when it's all nicely on the shelves. You can see magazine board keeps it nice and it's a little bit cleaned up because big bolts take up more space and the magazine boards fold everything in half so you could put more on more shelves instead of like me hiding it all behind a mattress. Anyways, have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.